might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you.
steps. I will instruct you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. If you're ever taking the hand of a toddler, you'll know that they are relying on you for their balance. If they stumble, you can easily steady them. This simple act of holding a hand means that you and the child have confidence that they won't fall flat on their face. In the same way, when we commit our way to God, we are essentially placing our hand in His. He delights in the fact that we are walking with Him. Even in the times when we stumble, He will steady our path and give us the confidence to keep walking. Lord, I want to walk into this day holding your hand. Keep a firm grip on me so I don't stumble or fall. I love having you near me. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word today, God. Thank you for ordering our steps. You said in your brain. Amen. No 
Give me me. Thank you for joining me on this special edition, I shall call it. You guys have seen me make my bed, well, change my linens, clean my room, uh, fix what I call, <laughs> at this point, probably lunch. Um, and now I am currently going to the store. You guys also show, uh, not show, but you guys also uh, saw me do my devotion as well as, um, what else did I do? Oh, I made a list. A to-do list as well as a grocery list now I can tell you guys this I've never was the type of person that really stuck to a routine or like wrote down a routine I pretty much just got up and went with the flow but I do understand the purpose of having some type of plan even if you don't do everything that you put down on your to-do list at least you have some type of foundation you have some type of focus to pinpoint you know instead of just getting up and starting your day like well I don't know what to do because as I stated before I work at nights if I know that I have something to do during the day when I am off I will force myself to get up I'm very sleepy right now, you guys, and I do go back to work tomorrow night. However, I am, I forced myself to get up around 11.30, and I know to some that is late, but for me, that is great. <laughs> it's not considered late for me. So I forced myself to get up because I knew that I had an agenda that I wanted to get done today. Even if I don't complete everything on my list, at least I know that I got up with intention to get all of those things done so with that being said i want to thank you guys so much for joining me today and i did i am also calling it um a nurse addition addiction addition yeah um preparing for the week or i don't know exactly how i'm going to word it but i know i'm going to include nurse addition on there because I am preparing to go back to work and I am a nurse. So, yeah, also, um, so yeah, we have done some things already on our list. So I'm going to the store now and hopefully this is something that you guys will be interested in. And if this is your first time joining me on my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will stick around by hitting the subscribe button and become a family member of mine here at Simply Unique and those of you who have been with me for a while and, and are returning, I want to thank you so, so much for also clicking on my video today. So yeah guys, I have started my little journey again of trying to be healthy. I'm trying my best to stick with it. I did go to the gym. I record, I think I did record a little bit in there but I have not uploaded it yet. I wanted to make sure <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I am ready this time I don't want to put something out there and then I don't continue it which has been a problem with me I will lose like 20 pounds and then child I'll gain 20 pounds plus more because I didn't stick with it so hopefully this time I will definitely stick with it because your girl needs to be hurting y'all okay I can't <laughs> baby Raya be wanting me to sit down at her table and color I say baby Raya your GG can't do that those of you who don't know who uh, Raya is that's my daughter's God baby one of her God's God children and I call them my God grandchildren because I don't have any grandchildren and she called me GG not for grandmother but for uh, what she called me GG for uh grand godmother or something like that my daughter said but anyways yeah she be wanting me to get down on my knees honey at her table stuff i said honey if your gg do that gg will not be able to get up and even when i be at work y'all it's sad so i'm like mm -mm. my endurance is down i get tired i know part of it is premenopausal but also i have to be honest it's my weight y'all i think i weigh like maybe 
last time I checked when I went for my women's health, it said 221 pounds. Although to me, I don't look like I weigh that much, but your girl feel it, my knees feel it, and my clothes are saying, we can't fit you no more, you gained weight. So that is my focus. I just wanna overall get healthy. Um, I do desire to have a tummy tuck. However, before I even consider that, if I go through with it, I want to lose the necessary weight that I need to lose so I can be healthy. I can be more of a less, um, have less complications doing surgery. So yeah, that's my goal. But I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off because I got some more stuff I wanna show you guys. So now, first I'm gonna go by TJ Maxx and see if I can find some fresh smelling candles. And then I'm gonna go to Aldi's and then to Walmart. Not sure if I'm gonna vlog in there. I may just uh, let you guys see what I purchased once I get back home. And then we shall continue this reset or mindset or whatever you wanna call it, child. But it's gonna be a nursing dish addition to be added to it. Ooh, y'all won't forget me. All right, so stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, we are back home and I went to two different stores. The only thing I did not get was the almond milk, so I kind of like scratched that out. Um, everything else that's on my list, I did get and I'm gonna show that to you guys in a moment. Also, I got a couple of extra things too that was not on my list. Probably the reason why I went over $32.90. I went over by $32.90. My budget I set was 100, I spent $132.90. So we're gonna break this down. Um, at Walmart, y'all see Walmart here, I spent $68.70. This is me, I, I had my, uh, cal well, my, use my calculator on my phone, and I calculated $69.34, but the actual toast, actual toast, the, the actual total was $68.70. Also, I went to Aldi's and I spent a total of $64.20. My uh, estimate was $64.13. So I was under by seven cents here with my calculator. Cause you know, you don't know, really know about taxes and everything. I did like 7%, but some things may have not been 70%. But anyways, um, yeah, so Aldi, I spent $64.20. And then at Walmart, I spent $68.70, which gives me a total of $132.90. So not too bad. If I hadn't got the extra stuff, I probably would have been within my budget. But the extra stuff that I did get, I did need. So, yeah. Okay, let's... So the things over there are from Walmart. And the stuff that's in these two bags here are from Aldi. So I'm going to unbag everything real quick and I'll do a quick grocery haul with you all. And so, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So this is everything that I bought from Walmart and Aldi today. Uh, Aldi, Aldi, however you pronounce it. The water's over there. So I'm going to also point out the things that I did not have on my list. <laughs> Starting with this, I did not have this on my list. However, it is a good snack to have instead of eating chips. That's a good snack to have. So I bought two of the cheddar cheese um, rice snacks. I love these things, y'all. They taste so good. There's my garlic bread that was on the list. Oatmeal was on the list. Granola bars was on the list. I bought two of these. And then the brownies. I'll just point out the things that wasn't on the list instead of me saying what I'm, that was on the list. So if I don't say anything, that means it was on my list. Um, I have the milk back here. I bought two of the brownie, 90 calorie brownies. 
Here's my yogurt. Y'all, this is my favorite type of yogurt, the peanut butter dream. I love this. This is good. If you have a sweet tooth, this will settle your, um, settle. This will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This will, um, settle your craving. That's the only word I can think of right now. <laughs> I bought my creamer. This is my favorite creamer. Got the trail mix. This, these are, these were like nuts. I just put nuts, which nuts are in there, so. Um, this was not, well, actually, this it was in the category of salad. So, yeah, brought some croutons, Italian season, as well as cheese and garlic croutons. Um, honey, honey was not on my list, but I do need that for my Brussels sprouts. Um, this was not really on my list, but I got this for my daughter. She's a, um, uh, uh, she works at a, um, She's a preschool teacher, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, preschool teacher. So she told me to get her some of this because they're doing um, s'mores. So I bought her the graham crackers, the uh, Hershey bars, and the marshmallow. So that's for her students or whatever. Um, cucumber, which was part of the salad. So this was not on my list. This was not on my list. This was not on my list. Uh, here's my fruit section, bananas two things of grapes so I got that this was not on my list but my son loved this and you know kids are out of school today I mean because it's summertime so that'd be good for him to eat for lunch or what have you uh spaghetti sauce uh, let's see what else I got the green beans I got my tilapia my chicken breast my shrimp my turkey ground turkey and then this was not on my list, but I forgot that we actually needed some more of this. So, yeah. And then, like I said, my water is over there. So, not too bad, you guys. I didn't do too bad. Um, Yeah, guys. I did not do too bad. And I really enjoyed myself. I usually do make a list when I before I go to the grocery store. But I didn't just make a list. I made a grocery list in mind of what... Um, I'm going to prepare for meals this week as well as like my snacks. Also, I'm trying to meal prep so it can also help me with my uh, weight loss journey too. So y'all, excuse me. I know my eyes are really, really red. I've been still fighting with red eyes, but yeah. So now what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to put this stuff up. I'm going to go ahead and clean the kitchen and then I'm going to cook. Let's take a look at let's take a look at my list of things to do to see how well I'm doing. Hold on. Okay. I'm a, I'm going to kind of hold it up so y'all can see it. Hopefully, are y'all crooked? Hold on. Y'all kind of crooked. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. We did the we made the bed, changed the sheets and all that. Clean my room, we vacuum uh let's see i'm getting ready to do this but i'm not going to check it off yet because i haven't done it um have not done that done that yet i'm getting ready to wash my clothes okay i went to the grocery store and i kind of did find a dentist but i still need to check my insurance so i found the dentist who does but i still need to call so um i can check that off um, I'm getting ready to prepare for dinner and for my lunch. Okay. Now I did, I did attempt to find some candles, but I did not find what I was looking for. So I did go to look for candles. However, I couldn't find the candles that was a good scent for me. And I didn't want to go to Bath and Body Works because I know it wasn't, I don't think they're having a sale right now. So I went to Target, not Target. I went to TJ Maxx and Ross, um, so yeah so i'm doing pretty good i mean i know those will be later on tonight i'm getting ready to do this now getting ready to do this now and i'm getting ready to do this now now i can go ahead and tell you guys that the master bath and the rest of downstairs besides the kitchen probably probably will not get done tonight um today because i'm tired so if not i will do those on my next days off because I don't want to wear myself out because I still want to work out. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to work out at home because I don't feel like driving anywhere else. I don't feel like going to uh, Planet Fitness today. So, 
um, I'm probably going to do pick something from um, YouTube and do a short video at home, workout video at home. So let me stop all the talking and go ahead and clean this kitchen. It's not that bad, but still, I need to, I need to clean up. Show ya, show me the car you ain't turning me on The way you telling me you wanted me down mm -hmm. Done it, I done this before you fall I won't catch you, don't know I'm stalling Cause you love to have them all crying mm -hmm. Gonna be sweet, eh? Tell me you need me But I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema, I go uh, Cause you a bad man, you should only love man You should break grass real fast like on man Wanna swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets, honestly Can you keep it real cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby don't be shy, I can see it in your eyes I've been running around too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know you like it how I rock it from behind I know you stand it how you take it all my time Left, right, can you take it all the night? Monday, June 20th. I've done everything except for master clean the master bath, clean downstairs family room, clean formal living room, and <laughs> work out either at the gym or home. And of course, I'm going to take a shower and then go to bed. So yeah, not bad. And don't worry if you guys don't finish your entire to-do list. I mean, I've done majority of it. Okay, you guys. So as you saw my to-do list, my agenda for today, I did not complete everything and it's okay. It is okay. I've done a lot. Sometimes we have to listen to our bodies, <laughs> you know, and my body is telling me that she is tired. Okay. My feet is telling me they are tired, okay? Um, so I'm gonna listen to my body and although I did not work out, however, just by cleaning up, moving around, you know, getting my joints, my bones, my muscles, everything moving, I technically did work out, you know, sometimes going to the grocery store, cleaning up, some people use that as their workout, especially if they're doing some heavy lifting and everything, so, you know, um, but it's okay, don't beat yourself up if you don't complete your list of things to do. Um, there's always the next day, you know, hopefully God spare our lives. So, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because I did say this was like a nurse addiction, addiction, addition, addition. I did say this was a nursing, nurse addition because I was going to talk to you guys about um, you know, lately I've just been working a lot, working two jobs, uh, have a full-time job as well as a PRN job. PRN means as needed. And I pretty much work there at least one shift every two weeks. Um, but my days have been kind of like back to back simply because I went out of town uh, this month in June, like maybe two weekends ago, I believe, to the Maverick City and Kurt Franklin concert, um, worship concert. So therefore I had to make sure my time was in at both places. So I worked like six 12 hour shifts 
back to back and I was tired, okay? As well as, excuse me if my lips are chapped, y'all, as well as I have just got done with doing three 12 hour shifts back to back. I worked my full time job as well as my um, PRN job. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been working a lot and um, <laughs> I'm tired. And I was going to do a separate video explaining. I know I have a video on my channel about me going to school for my master's for a nurse practitioner. I've only got maybe a year left to do, but honestly, you guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to complete it. Two things. One, I don't want any student loans. I'm 50 years. It's like when I turned 50, the light bulb came on. And I'm like, I'm 50 years old. I'm trying to, my goal is to be debt free. Um, but yeah, I just, I just don't desire to accumulate any more debt for myself. And yes, going to school is a good debt. You know, it's good. It's a good investment. Um, but again, I'm 50 years old. I want to still work if I choose to work, you know, once I get to my retirement um, age or before then, I don't want to have to work because I have bills to pay, if that makes sense. I want to work because I want to, you know, and I want to travel when I want to travel. I don't want anything holding me back. And I did pray and ask God if it's his will, because sometimes we can get it wrong. Sometimes we can say God told us or we felt like God told us, you know, and it's okay, even if he didn't tell you, it's, it's a good thing to go to school. And it's your choice if you choose not to. But um, I know I was ordained or born, my purpose was to be a nurse. And I did want to pursue my nurse practitioner um, after I was in school for five years. I mean, after I had graduated and became a registered nurse, I wanted to give myself five years before I went back to school. But things happen in life. I didn't know I was going to have another baby. I didn't know I was going to get married. I didn't know I was going to have another child after I got married. So a lot of things happen and um, hurt my back, yada, 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 yada. A lot of variables uh, took place. Uh, life events took place. So I didn't get that chance. And although I did complete a year of my nurse practitioner, I just, I don't know. And another thing I said was two reasons. One, I don't want any student loans. And secondly, you guys, so many people going to school now to pursue their nurse practitioner until, I'm not gonna say it's not needed, but a lot of times you have to relocate um, in order to get a good paying job as a nurse practitioner or a job because it's one of those positions or one of those professionals that are I won't really say it's highly in demand um, right now to me from the resources that I have read. Um, I think nurses are still high in demand and you also have nurse practitioners who have gone back to bedside. So, and I just thought about that. I don't want to accumulate that debt and then not be able to find a job locally here where I live in Savannah because um, I'm not willing to relocate. I'm 50 years old. I mean, I'm not saying that I can't relocate, but I, I don't want to. I, I want to travel, but I don't want to relocate. Unless God himself tells me, then that's a different story. But I don't feel that he's telling me. And like I told God, you know, if it's your will for me to be a nurse practitioner, then provide the finances so I don't have to get any student loans. And so far... You know, so yeah, that's kind of like where that where that has landed. Um, I mean, I don't discourage anyone who wants to pursue nurse practitioner or um, their master in nursing, whether it be nurse education or what have you. Um, I just don't know if it's for me, if I'm being honest, you know, and I know I did a whole video crying out saying God told me and this, that, and the other. Like I said, sometimes we can hear things wrong. I didn't say audibly that God told me. I said that I felt in my heart, you know. Um, so with that being said, you guys, just follow your passion, follow your heart. 
um, and just pray about it, you know, and like I said, it's okay. Sometimes we do. It's, it's ourselves that's telling us to do something. Sometimes we think it's God or sometimes we think it's ourselves and, it's, and it is God. So, you know, to each his own. But yeah, that's why I wanted to call it the nurse edition because I wanted to tell you guys what has been going on with me with um, with my masters as well as why I've been so tired. <laughs> and I do enjoy bedside um, nursing, especially since I've switched um, my environment, y'all, oh my gosh, it has been so wonderful. And that's another thing, you guys, don't become complacent. Don't become complacent. Don't be afraid to change. You know, um, if it's that time, if it's that time to leave that, that employer and go somewhere else, don't be afraid. Um, I was very terrified <laughs> if I'm being honest, because, you know, you just get used to, um, your routine and you don't want to change. You don't want to start over. And that was me, but I'm so happy that I made this change and I know it was the right change because you just have to know where you are mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, all of it, you know, and just make the necessary, nece excuse me, and make the necessary changes that you need to make for your life and for your family. Also, if I have the opportunity, I will not mind traveling again. I was going to travel this summer um, with for nursing. However, I went ahead and took a full-time position, which I'm grateful that I did because, like I said, I really do love that job. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I am, I am in my nursing career right now. And um, please don't take it to heart that, oh, you know, Anyways, I'm not going to harp on that, but to each his own and just follow your passion, follow your dreams and um, don't give up on yourself. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say, you guys. So I want to thank you so much for joining me here on my channel at Simply Unique. And until the next time, you guys, make sure you love yourself, stay true to yourself and be the best you that you can be. And don't be so hard on yourself. OK. All right, guys, I'm about to throw these clothes in the washer. And then I'm going to jump in the shower. And although I have to sleep all day tomorrow because I work nights, I need to take me a nap. <laughs> I'm so drained, but I'm proud of myself. All right, guys. Until the next time. I love you guys. Bye. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail.